sex, 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 and sex. Okay, now that I've got your attention, let's try something different on this video. So I have a timer here set for 10 minutes and I'm going to press play soon. And as soon as it ends, I'm stopping this video. So it just started. So let's talk a bit. First of all, I don't expect this uh, video to have many views. So let's try to do a little bit of a YouTube experiment. Please indulge me here. Uh, let's try to make the number of comments the same as the number of views. So I'm guessing that not everybody is going to comment, although I would really appreciate if you do. You can comment anything, maybe just a dot, maybe just one letter. And but since I guess not everybody is going to comment, uh, maybe those of you that are willing to can comment twice or maybe three times. And let's just try to make that number the same as the number of views. I don't know. I have this feeling that that might be cool, that might be somehow rewarding for the algorithm. Let's just try it. Indulge me. It, it doesn't have to do anything, but let's just try it, okay? It, it's going to be fun. Now, today's topic, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to talk about. First of all, I've been posting every single day since the start of November. So, since November one number November the first, and that means that I've been post that I've posted about what like something like forty videos in a row, and uh, needless to say, I'm exhausted a bit, <laughs> but I like pushing myself. I love the challenge, and there's just something when I challenge myself, I I, I figure out I. I think of it as a game, you know, and I just want to succeed. Although, like, uh, long term, it doesn't have to be maybe the smartest thing for the channel or for me either. Uh, but one thing is uh, interesting that I have more information about my videos, more things in the back, like in the analytics, from which I can draw and uh, learn from. And I guess that's the smartest thing that that has come from all of this but in the terms of revenue or views or something it's not even my best period you know it's okay but it's definitely not sustainable so it's definitely not something that i'm going to keep doing uh in the new year but i will figure out the best uh, way for me to post the best amount but i definitely want to make uh fewer videos but really make them as good as possible so very i'm not gonna say polished because that sounds kind of a, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like me but i just want to make them as high quality as possible if that makes sense so they they will still probably be most likely they will be uh, r related to music in some sort of way uh will they will there be reactions maybe not just reactions i, I don't really know yet i will definitely take a bit of a pause in january and just figure all of this out because uh the reason why I started YouTube in the first place, like when I've created the channel years ago, I really started posting uh, on YouTube maybe three years constantly. But before that, I actually just wanted a platform where I can connect to people and share my music. And that's still the goal. But it's not the goal for me to share the music because I want people to listen to my music. That's not really the thing. I've started doing music or I've started uh, writing songs for one sole purpose, to help people. Now, that might sound maybe weird to some of you, but it actually, music saved me from a lot of bad times. And it really, some lyrics and some songs and some bands really came in the right time in my life and really changed my life. If I didn't hear a song in a certain situation, my whole life would probably look different and it might, I don't even want to talk, it, it could have, ended really worse and not only that my belief in god as well you can take that as you will i'm not saying that all of you have to believe in god or anything i'm just saying what i do from experience so those are a couple of things that are really important in my life so faith and music and my family and stuff like that uh, and um in some point i have to admit that i have gotten a bit Huh, what's the word? I've kind of gotten disconnected a bit from all of that because my initial like energy and, and ideas were to help people through my music. And I still have a lot of songs that I've recorded some of them, but I still haven't started posting them because I have this fear in my head, you know, some of these videos are going to do terribly and what's the point? Like people are not going to listen. But if I completely block everything from YouTube, when I think even if just like 100 people see it, 100 views, if even just one person feels better or feels something from the song or even from my videos, then that's a win. You know, it doesn't have to be a big scale. And at the end of the day, if I focus it like that, if I just think about one person, that there will be more people like that, you know, if that makes sense. You know, if I just 
focus on one type of person, let's say, but there's not really a type. I, I think my songs, people could enjoy them from all different types of life and, you know, whatever they're interested in. I just think they are, I think they are powerful. I believe so. My lyrics are really strong in some sense and I'm going to share them with you. Now, there's one thing that I consider doing is maybe at the end of this journey of two months posting every day to post my original song, which is already recorded and mastered, but I still don't have the music video for. And I'm thinking, could I do it in these 20 days until the end of the year? I'm not sure. Maybe I try. I would need some help. I think of, a, you know, that's a different story. But th let me know if that sounds like so like a good culmination of all of this, at least this uh, of, of this year. Another thing that I wanted to talk, but I'm not sure how much time do I have because I posted because I played the timer. Um, I've been sitting down with my friend who's also a YouTuber today, and uh, he is considering quitting posting at all. He wants to find a different job. Uh, he just finds it a bit isolating too much. And I can definitely agree with that. Uh, thinking about topics, writing scripts. I don't really write scripts for most of these videos. As you can see, uh, most of them are improvised, but he is uh, more detailed and um, he does, his uh, channel topic is different. He talks about tech, so he has to have like a script and stuff like that. And um, all of the process is very isolating in terms of he's doing everything alone, editing, filming, writing a script, um, thinking of ideas. It, it, it's, uh, it's definitely a tiresome, like, project or tiresome um, career, especially when, it's very, it, when it fluctuates a lot. So he's thinking about getting a, let's say, steady, regular job and maybe doing YouTube at the side, maybe, maybe not even doing it at all. And that kind of hit me. That I, I, I really love doing YouTube. I would never do that. I don't think I would. But the thing of isolation made me think about different things. Like, I think people are lonelier than ever. Like, when you think about it, People are always on their phone. Even when you're with your family, a lot of them are just scrolling on their phone. And uh, we've lost that connection to, to people. And we are social beings. So that's not maybe the best thing that we can do. There's this quote that we had in our creation class. Uh, our teacher would say that only God and the devil can be completely isolated, can live on their own. So since we're not God and we're I hope not a devil or a demon or whatever she called that. Uh, we do need interaction with other people. Now, I myself am maybe a more introverted person and I don't like too many people around me, but I still like a couple of people that I really can trust and I, I'm feeling the best when I'm drinking coffee with my wife. That's, that's my idea of paradise, you know? So maybe something like that. Uh, before I ran out of time, there's another thing. I've read something about this um, study that was done in 1995 about hugs and how they affected m the mood of, of a person. And it's very interesting. I'm just going to tell you one very interesting sentence from here. So it says that four hugs per day uh, were an antidote for depression. Eight hugs per day would achieve mental stability and 12 hugs per day would achieve real psychological growth. Now let's think about that for a second. Like maybe you're in a more fortunate situation than I am, but I am like surrounded. I have a family. I, I, I love them and stuff like that. But still even four hugs a day it's not something that happens always. Now, when I think about it, I do hug my daughter and I hug my wife. So I'm fortunate when it comes to that. But there was definitely a period where I didn't hug anybody for months or maybe half a year or a year, you know. So I have a feeling that that's actually very strong. And not to mention like eight hugs are for mental stability. And not to mention 12 hugs would be for psychological growth. What I'm saying is we've really gotten disconnected with people, even the people that we admire or the people that we are fond with and that we are close to. I'm not saying that you could, you should hug strangers or something like that. Maybe you could, <laughs> but I'm saying that even the people that are closest to us, we don't really hug them enough. And um, that's telling us something, especially because time is passing by. Those people might not always be there. So take this advantage, take this opportunity. Please hug somebody today. We're out of time. Please hug somebody today. Hugs are stronger than we think. And I think that we definitely need that more than we maybe like to admit sometimes. So let me leave you with a hug. I don't know what to tell you. And thank you for watching this until the end. If I could hug you in real person, I definitely would. Thank you and see you next time.